what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today we're doing some more base reviews if you guys want to be entered in the base reviews you can go ahead and send your email uh with a high-res picture of your base to base reviews with molt at gmail.com uh, now i do want you to make sure that you put your town hall level in the title as well as your actual level um, and what kind of base it is. So like this one would be Town Hall 9, level 93, uh, farming base. It just helps me organize the emails. I've got about 2,000 of them. So not everybody's going to be reviewed. Um, but definitely take what you learn from these videos and from these different bases and add them on to your own. All right. So today we're going to be doing some town, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> today we're going to be doing some Town Hall 9 bases. Um, and I believe they all have fourth mortar. As you can see, one, two, three and four perfect placement for those mortars making a square covering the whole base same with the wizard towers and then also same with the air defenses so the whole core of this base looks really really good um it is a farming base obviously and each one of the uh sets of resources is in its own little uh compartment which is great because somebody is going to have to completely attack in order to get uh, to all of them. So most of the time, somebody will just attack from one side and only get two sets of your resources or half of what's available. So um, that's a great way to split them up. You never want to have them all in the same uh, compartment just because people can get to them pretty easily. Uh, your point defenses look good as well. You've got cannon, archer, cannon, archer, Cannon, archer, cannon, archer, archer, cannon, archer, all the way around. So that looks great. You've got a good coverage. Um, the archer towers, I always say split them up because they're air defenses as well. Uh, just looks like you've got a great coverage of the base, especially when it comes to um, things I've already mentioned, like the archer towers being spread out, the Teslas. The whole base is covered by every kind of defense so um, I don't really think I would change anything like that I don't however see well here's one of your skeleton traps um, here's another skeleton trap the only thing about this base that you can't really do anything about is that there's no space in between any of this stuff for traps so I would love I would love 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 to see skeleton traps on the inside of the base somehow but sadly there is no room for you to do that so uh, you can just have them spread out like this. That's fine. Um, but again, I would love to be able to see them towards the middle of the base just so that if troops did get inside, they would get distracted. Uh, like say you had a skeleton trap over here. Um, troops would come in, get distracted, and the wizard would just wreck them. So uh, that's the only reason I'd want to have those on the inside. But overall, looks like a pretty good base. I definitely like it. You've uh, done a good job of upgrading. Obviously, you still got cannons and archers and so on and so forth to upgrade, but uh, otherwise, it looks good. So let's go ahead and move on to Johan, level 104. Uh, it's a trophy base. You've got, you definitely got some upgrading to do. So this guy right here is only level 93. Obviously, he doesn't donate as many troops as you, but his wizard towers and everything are a lot higher than yours. So I would definitely, definitely uh, work on that. Um, your dark elixir is very very exposed uh but since it is a trophy base i guess you're not too worried about that but let's go ahead and talk about some of the key features uh and design elements so you've got your wizard towers in a square you've got your mortars in a square as well pretty sure this is a mortar right here um so that's good once that's done you will be sitting pretty <clears throat> your wizard towers definitely need to be upgraded this one right here especially wizard towers are super super important so make sure that you get that done asap uh looks like you are upgrading a archer tower the mortar uh where are the other things you're upgrading <laughs> i can't see but you have all five builders huts but i don't see anything else upgrading probably because i'm blind so you're upgrading this as well army camp so on and so forth so you've got a lot of upgrading looks like you're fairly new to town hall nine if i had to guess um but it looks good from a layout standpoint the only thing i would mention is uh these cannons right here uh like i said on the last one archer cannon archer cannon so on and so forth all the way around is generally the best thing to do because right now you've got archer 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 
archer down here, and then you've got two archers up here, but this whole portion of the base has no air defense uh, up there. So uh, minions come in or anything like that, you are going to be in trouble. So I would try and take, this is exactly what I would do. I would take this archer tower, move it over here, put it right there, put that cannon right over here. That's what I would do. That's just me. You don't have to do it. But I think that you need some more uh, archers up towards the top of the base because then you'll have um, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon all the way around. Um, do the same thing on both sides with the with the cannon over there. Um, center of the base looks okay. Uh, it is a very, very big compartment. Uh, if somebody breaks in right here, then all they have to do is drop off a jump spell and they will be in the center wrecking everything. So um, generally I would try and say to have three sets of walls like you do right here. Uh, you just can't do it up here. Um, so that's the only other thing. But I mean, the base doesn't look too bad. You've definitely got a lot of upgrading to do. Um, and again, I would try and put some archer towers up here and upgrade your wizard towers, all right? Let's move on. We've got a couple more bases to do. Uh, this one's in village edit mode, so I don't even know who it is. So this is your base. Uh, congrats. Uh, so you've got your mortars in a square as well. So that looks awesome. One, two, three, four. You've got your wizards in a square, and you've got your air defenses in a square. So um, all of that looks really, really good. I've seen base designs like this. I've never used one. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the effectiveness of them because somebody ideally could drop a jump spell right here and get into the center of the base. Um, someone could even just drop a wall breaker off and drop a jump spell right here and get into all of this loot and all of this loot. So that's the only reason that I think it is a little bit dangerous doing a design like this, but again, that is up to you. And uh, if you like this kind of design, obviously. <laughs> but let's keep on working our way around. So we've got archer, cannon, archer, looks like another archer right here, and then double cannon. So I might switch these two. I know that you love having the symmetry, you just like having two cannons right next to each other because it looks good. It looks good to have these two here, but I might uh, switch these two, just bring them over, um, <clears throat> and then work your way around. You've got archer, cannon, archer, archer again over there. So um, not too bad, but I would definitely consider that and think about it. Uh, good to see these skeleton traps in the middle of the base. That looks great. That is going to cause a good amount of distraction. This is kind of annoying having those there. Uh, I might get rid of those and put, uh, I don't know, gold mines or something in there and then move the bombs out. Um, but, I mean, it looks like a good base. It's interesting. You do have stuff to upgrade, obviously. Your wizard towers look good, though. Um, some of your cannons look like you've only got one more to upgrade. Yep, yep, yep. So, good base. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I would say this is one of the designer fashion style bases that looks cool and might not be as effective as others, but for the most part, it looks good. looks like you've got a whole bunch of loot. You can upgrade some of those walls, uh, so on and so forth. So, let's keep on moving on. We've got a couple more bases to do. Um, so, another farming base, Town Hall 9. You've got your wizards in uh, kind of a square. <laughs> You've got your mortars in a square right here, and you've got your air defenses in a square right there. So the whole base is covered by the key splash and air defenses. Um, not sure how I feel about these two cannons right here and these two archer towers right here, but since they are overlapping, uh, it's not too bad. However, I would try and protect the archer towers more because they protect more. Cannons only protect against ground troops, Archers protect against air and ground, so I might consider moving these in here just to protect the uh, archer towers more than the cannons. Other than that, you've got archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, all the way around the base, so that looks really good. Uh, the center core isn't too bad. Uh, it does have a good amount of resources inside of it, so somebody could break in right here and then jump spell some goblins up in there and go to town, especially since this wizard tower is out of commission right now. But um, it, it's good that you're upgrading it, and I guess at this point in time, uh, it's probably 
finished because I think that I got this uh, image a couple of days ago. But overall, I do like the base design. I like the layout of it. I like the different number of compartments. The more compartments, in my opinion, the better because once someone's out of wall breakers, they are screwed. Uh, so that looks really good. Everything seems to be protected pretty well. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think the biggest thing would be bringing in these archer towers and then you should be good to go if you're gonna stick with uh, this layout and everything. So let's keep on moving on. Jarrett, 104, another farming base. Nice walls, my dude. Good looking walls for Town Hall 9. Um, definitely the best out of all of these. So you've got your wizards all squared up. You've got your mortars all squared up. This one is upgrading really, really well right there. Um, looks like you've been just going at it. So great job there. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I do notice right off the bat is two archer towers directly next to each other also next to an air defense and a tesla so you got a lot of air defense right up there uh and down towards the bottom so one thing that i might consider let's see where your cannons are so you've got this cannon right here and then you've got this cannon right here uh and then it looks like where is the other cannon i'm just trying to find it let's see here so we've got archer cannon archer archer cannon cannon so that's where it would fall in. I would almost put the uh, the cannon right here and the archer tower out there. But again, that is up to you. I just always like to have my point defenses spread out. Looks like your air defenses are protected pretty well. Uh, you could bring them in to where the gold storage is right there and to where this gold storage is. Uh, bring this around and bring this around. But that would obviously mean that your gold storages would be a little bit more exposed, but you don't have that much gold right now, so I don't think that would be too big of a deal. Um, overall, I like the base design, looks super symmetrical. Love these little trap areas for anybody trying to come in and steal your loot. You're like, I ain't having it. So yeah, looks good. Let's keep on moving on. We've got uh, one more to go. This is the last base. Ting 4421S, level 83, farming base. Let's do this. So as always, wizards in a square. Biggest thing about this base that I noticed right off, those mortars are way, way too close together. I know, it sucks, but they're way too close together. That does not cover that much of the base. You wanna have one of them right here, and you wanna have one of them right here, one of them right here, one of them right here. So those are good, gotta make that square. Those are too close together for sure. Uh, so I would bring the cannons up there, but then again, you also want to try and have uh, you, you want to stray away from this. You've got four archer towers right here in this little square. That is way, way too many archer towers down at the bottom of the base. You're going to want to bring uh, some of those up there. So I would, uh, I would probably take these cannons. Well, then you're going to have three of them down there. I don't know. You just need to have it so that the mortars are at most right here. You can put them right there. So put those mortars right there, and then let's go cannon, archer, cannon, archer. Gosh, they're so spread out. Cannon, you just need to do something with this. I don't even know what to do with it, but there's way too many defenses down there in that one point that you're just like hogging this up. Too many defenses. I don't know what to do about it, <laughs> but I would try and get some of them up here. These mortars are too exposed on the outside of the base. Those would get taken out very, very easily. Um, I would even consider bringing them in probably to where these two elixir storages are and move the elixir out or move the gold storages out since you only have 42,000 so someone can only steal like 10,000 from you. Um, so that's the biggest thing I would say is moving these mortars kind of in to protect them a little more and then figure out something to do with this because there are way too many point defenses down there. Um, but yeah, I would just move them up somewhere, maybe bring them in towards the core or something along those lines. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 15 minute episode, uh, almost doing it big. Uh, thank you so, so very much for the support. I hope that you guys like this. If you guys want your base reviewed or a chance for it to be reviewed, send it to basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com. If you don't get reviewed, try and take these tips and apply them to your base. Uh, it should make a difference for you, right? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.